one year in the making with this phone. So it was pretty much about late last year or so when I bought this. So I'm just actually going to do a one year update. This thing has surprised the fool out of me. So let's go ahead and get into this one year review. You're now rocking with Wakama. Let's go. So it's actually been about a year um, or so, give or take a few months. Uh, with the Sony Xperia XA Ultra. This is why we should never sleep on these phones. I picked this this phone up again, put my SIM back into it, and just started using it, and I was amazed at the actual uh, performance on this thing. Like, the, just from, from the get-go, when I got Nougat, actually, there were three updates that I had to uh, go ahead and download and install. Once they got installed, this thing is, it's like night and day difference between when I first got this phone. The phone, as of my last review, was pretty much, it was a good phone, but they had some little jankiness every now and then, like when you tried to multitask and do some things. But Nougat has definitely turned this phone around. Um, overall, the hardware stuff is still essentially the same. The, the display is still good, you know, for the most part. I still like the display. It was a 1080p display. I mean, it's not up to the 2K standard, but this is a budget phone, uh, by the way. So, obviously, you're not going to get that 2K popping impact. But I will say the display looks nice for watching YouTube videos in 1080p. It's it's satisfying. It's, it's good enough. It's going to get the job done. Uh, then the cameras, once again, the cameras are essentially the same. I know I had a few comments on my last video in regards to this versus the pixel uh yes <laughs> that's that person who was asking the question yes i was using this phone to take the uh the actual video so the video comparison so i have no other motive so I'm, of course i use this phone versus the pixel so um yeah of course all the hardware stuff is essentially the same but the software experience has changed and uh since nougat it, it's definitely a lot more fluid uh, I can get through my apps and now also you have the, the multi-screen the uh, split screen view uh, window now that makes a heck of a difference in this phone too and it's fluid it's not like the Samsung Galaxy S8 where if you're watching a YouTube video you have to kind of pause it or so and then you go to the, uh, the split screen view this one it's just it, it's fluid it's like HTC U Ultra uh, where when you hit the uh, when you hold down the square button the recent apps button it just pop it immediately goes into split screen view and then pulls up the other app so that's what I like it's the fluidity they really nailed it with that Sony and I really appreciate that um, what else like as far as even the little software tweaks they um, on their phone they t they tend to use Swift key for their keyboard um, I think Swift key actually does work really well with this uh, you do have the uh, ability to uh, copy links and paste links directly from the keyboard into your text, which is really nice. Uh, even though I typically prefer to use Google Keyboard, Google Gboard, uh, this this still really works really nice as a package overall. I really recommend this. Uh, outside of that 16 gig <laughs> limitation, that's so whack, man. I could have at least put 32 in this thing. I mean, and at least 32 in this budget phone, or 64 for that matter, but uh, 16, you can't do nothing. If you're going to do 16, at least do the adoptable storage method, because, you know, obviously you could throw in a, a really big memory card and you'd be good to go, but my last impressions is this phone, it's a winner. Um, I would say uh, it's just so much better after Nougat and the battery life too, battery life update. Uh, battery life is kind of more or less the same, but it's still impressive regardless. I'm still getting um, like five and a half hours screen on time, which I believe I had in my previous comparison. I believe I was hitting five. I might even be getting a little more. I think I might have been barely hitting five, but I'm easily hitting five. Uh, the idle time on this thing is great. Like when you leave this thing sitting there, that battery life does not move. It's almost scary like iPhone. Like it does not move. And I would I definitely give this phone two thumbs up. Uh, the only setback here is just that 16 gigs of internal space. 
you're gonna have to keep trying to move your apps back and forth but the performance with this thing even though it has a MediaTek processor I'm telling you it's worth the pickup you know at least as a, a backup phone or a secondary phone this thing is great um, because as a primary phone only thing only reason why this would not be a good primary phone is just because of that internal storage but that's my take here just want to do a quick uh, maybe five minute update or so this phone it's a winner I mean I, I took a selfie the other day and it's really really comparable to the HTC U Ultra because you've got a 15 megapixel frank facing camera on this in comparison to the 16 on the HTC U Ultra in 2017 now this is like a 2015 phone the U Ultra just obviously came out this year U, sorry U11 came out this year but uh, yeah it's, it's very comparable with the front facing camera so uh, even doing everything that I do, Marco Polo and all this kind of stuff for video conferencing, the battery lasts all day, and I don't have any any gripes there with performance. So, uh, so if you're in the market for a budget phone, this phone is still relevant. I think in 2017 going into 2018, because you've got a big six-inch screen, the audio is still tinny, <laughs> like I said in before, it's loud, but it's loud enough here. Everything that you need everything's audible on this phone just because the speaker's loud enough so uh, but just be aware it is a little tinny when you get real high so uh, but other than that man it's a great phone so thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace oh before I go uh, last thing just wanted to say I appreciate all the subscribers because today I'm officially um one year into youtube so last year this time october 13th i did do my first video with my moto z play feel free to check that out um which will be the phone i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway working on this HTCU ultra uh review and uh i will be doing more i'll be giving more details out about that in the uh giveaway so in the review for that uh HTCU 11 phone so um but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of y'all. I uh, appreciate all the subscribers. I believe I'm at 641 subs. Uh, my goal, original goal, was to be at 1,000. But uh, we're going to keep pushing, man. And I appreciate everything y'all have done. I appreciate every time y'all comment. Um, but I appreciate all the love. So we're just going to make it do what it do. And have a great year. Take care.